He would come to the gym, and if it, say, he didn't get a ride to the gym, he didn't have no car, he would run. He would run across the causeway. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. Jerry, I'm the greatest fighter that ever stepped foot in the ring. Money will be lost that night. This will be the biggest upset in the century of all boxing. I think you're a big bag of wind. Damnedest showman that ever lived, and you ain't kidding anybody. The odds are seven to one. It's very big odds for a heavyweight championship fight. Clemson was that good that night. They play great, they do everything well, and in my opinion, Alabama, every week you watch them and you say they're so vulnerable. I mean, to me, their defense is so good, but the rest of their team is so average. I believe that Clemson is the team that can do it. I'm calling for the upset. I like Clemson to beat Alabama next Monday night. It has to be Liston. Liston is a much bigger puncher. While well, these big mouth people talking about I talk too much, well, I want all of them to be there, and I'm going to shut up all of his mouth. Who knocks out everybody, and no one can whoop him. That's when that little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. Deshaun Watson is the best player they'll have played this season. He's phenomenal. We can play with these guys. Um, you know, we're going to hear a lot of hype and, and a lot of talk about Alabama. But yeah, at the same time, you know, we we, uh, you know, we put on our pads the same way they do. You know, we practice just like they do. He hit harder than George. His reach was longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sunderland. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple times. Bad. Been chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. They have some holes right now. They've got some things, some warts, if you will, uh, to clean up. One of them, namely, the pass defense. And right now, there's been way too many missed assignments and blown coverages in the back end for Alabama. They give up 400 yards passing to Ole Miss. Nick Saban keeps getting a pass for his pass defense. They've gotten torched fairly regularly. I'm going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. George can't hit what his eyes can't see. All of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in cover. I'm going to show you how great I am. Bluffed him. I'd done everything. Beat him up basically for about five or six rounds. I thought it was easy. Then about the sixth round, he whispered in my ear after I'd hit him in the side. That all you got, George? Never talk about who's gonna stop me. Well, ain't nobody gonna stop me. I must be the greatest. I took up the world. I took up the world. I told you, all of my critics, that I was the greatest of all time. He who's not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life.